everybody! It feels like forever since I've been streaming uh, during the day. <laughs> I'm currently in my brain, I'm like, so here's the thing. Am I going to yawn less or am I going to yawn more since I'm streaming in the morning and not in the evening? We'll have to see. Uh, keep count if you feel like it. I might try. So, first things first on this fabulous Friday. Congratulations, Petulant Cobra, for being first. You get to be the first viewer to redeem first on this first stream of the day here. Second stream of the week. It's been a while. We're just, we're having a surprise of a day today. And so welcome in everybody. Congrats, Cobra, on being first. And bad at buttons. Welcome in and thank you for redeeming third. Love that. Whoops, wrong chat indeed. You know what? I don't know who those guys are, but I love them. It's fine. I probably shouldn't say that because I don't know who they are. I am super excited. Um, so I got an extra day off that I was not expecting. This is, um, it's very interesting working for a small business. I will uh, postulate as I wait for the sun to go down. Um, it's very interesting working for a small business because there are certain things that you can kind of expect. I don't know how to get up this tree. Wink. My boo. Please be useful. Nope. Okay. So I might not be able to stand on that branch. There's a way up here, right? Um, working for a small business is interesting because... In a lot of ways, they don't have the same resources as what a big business has. Um, and so they wind up being kind of limited uh, in certain ways. And one of the ways in which they can be limited is like holidays and stuff. And also like letting you know about timing for things. I am going to fall. Okay, I am not going to fall. I am going to succeed. I might fall. Okay, camera, camera, my darling. Um, and so what happened this week is that uh, I was initially told that because it was a small business, I was not going to have Monday off, even though Monday is typically a holiday because Monday, uh, civic holiday, oh, come on, I was rolling, that's fine. Um, do I do it from here? Civic holiday is one of the uh, optional stat holidays in Canada. I'm like, I'm getting so distracted by gameplay and I really shouldn't be. I'm still in my introduction. Um, but civic holiday is one of the optional stat holidays in Ontario. And so some businesses actually don't give it off. Um, it's only required for like bank and government. And I've done a lot of retail. So I'm actually pretty used to not getting civic holiday off because often retail stores will choose to remain open anyway so that they can do a lot of business on a day when other people are available. Morning stream impossible. Hi, Kate Bloomer. How you doing today? Have we gone back in time? Maybe. I'm still in the middle of my explanation about it. So basically, I thought until yesterday, I wasn't even going to get Monday off. I thought I was going to be working. And then I come into work yesterday morning and immediately my like supervisor is like, hey, so did you see any messages last night? And I was like, no, I have good work-life balance. I don't check my work stuff at home. <laughs> I didn't say that, but I just said no. And he was like, okay, so um, last night the CEO added to our calendar, which is not something I'm a part of. It's something that like the supervisors are a part of because it's like the launch calendar. They added days off for today and Monday to give us a four-day weekend because they took stock of kind of where we were at in the month and they were like, hey, we're actually pretty caught up on everything. You know what? As long as these couple of things are done, you guys don't need to come in on Friday. And so the supervisor was like, so can we get these things done? And I was like, bro, I am so there. <laughs> like, we will get these things done. And so, um, unlike previous small businesses that I've worked for, where the pivot has been less than 24 hours notice, actually, you don't have civic holiday off. Who's going to come in and work civic holiday? Actually, you don't have Boxing Day off. Who's going to come in and work Boxing Day? Actually, we need someone to work New Year's Day. Who's available for that? And I'm like, you need to tell me that I'm working New Year's Day way sooner than New Year's Eve, actually. This is like the flip of that. This is the one where I'm like, yeah, and I've planned to like do this extra thing. I'm fine with that. And they're like, psych, 
just have a holiday yay and like i'll take that of the two definitely prefer it in this direction so i have an extra day off today um and because k menzel does not why not stream <laughs> so i'm gonna do a morning stream we've gone so far back in time that we we've actually made it to august 2023 good for us isn't that great yes exactly it it is it is usually that sort of case um what they've actually done which i am fine with usually we hit super busy seasons in like october when we're packing our orders for christmas and so what they've done is they've given me today off in exchange for loo hours in october that I can work. So I'm still getting paid for this day. I'm getting paid for Monday regardless because it's a holiday. And so like, or like I'm not getting, I'm getting normal holidayness. But today I'm actually getting off like in lieu where they're still paying me today, but I'll have to work some hours for them in October. And I was like, that seems fair. I'm okay with this. There's no work to do now and there will be work to do then. Let's do it. Who cares? tis tis my life so i think they're trying to be fair and they're definitely trying to do their best do i have time to read this i think so shoot for the morning light okay in between i need to be careful the sun's gonna come up there ish the ridiculous scheduling. Hey, I know you're in a different city, but I need you to come work. <laughs> yeah, I definitely prefer it in this direction. They've they've consistently over the last like six weeks that I've been working there, um, they've consistently aired in the direction of advantage to me. And I'm like, I will take that. That is absolutely my preference. Can I do this? Probably not. Very nice. I think my first arrow did it, but I accept that I didn't want to risk it. Hey, cool! That looks fun! What's that? Garlic Grove, welcome in. Thank you for redeeming word of the stream. Cued... <laughs> like, good morning, but with... but with Q? For some reason, I thought it was like a QED thing. I will get that updated as soon as I have picked up these fire arrows. Hurrah! Keith, thank you for asking. I am doing very well. I am feeling happy. Um, I have already been so productive today. Um, I am going away for the weekend to see family. Um, and I have already showered and I have already packed which shocked me. I was expecting to be packing after stream. And so the only thing I have left on my to-do list today is I need to call the tax man. And that's gonna take the entire afternoon, um, as one does. But at least I now have the entire afternoon. So that's pretty cool. I can just like throw on a stream that I like, like for example, Kate's or Buttons, and uh, then, just, then just be on hold for ages and ages. Good morning with Lady Q in general. Obviously the water arrows. <laughs> Clearly. So good. Like, I just feel so productive. This this is what happens when you're used to, like for my work schedule, instead of getting up at seven, we started, like we shuffled our uh, sleep time. So we're now getting up at 6.30 and that's a habit now. And so we still got up at 6.30 today, even though we didn't need to. Like, I wasn't leaving earlier, or at all. It's great. Cued morn I apologize. <laughs> I ran out of space, and so the G is just very long and a little bit curvy but we accept that i'll be honored to be your hold music valid see buttons what i was thinking of doing just because you mentioned it yesterday and so now i'm now i'm thinking of it like after lunch i'm gonna throw on your stream 
I'm going to throw on Tidykin on my other monitor, and then I'm going to call a CRA and be like, there's no possible way for this to not be fun. <gasps> you did more bonding! I love that! New bonding is always delightful, and I'm glad that you have this delightful new person to bond with. Okay, so cool news is I got the two things that I needed to get right here. Um, always play Tinykin. This is Button's opinion. I got the two things that I needed needed to get here because, like, I was right here after the Water Temple. And so why not? Hey, I like Daisy's. Welcome in. Hi, hi, hi. I hope you're having a good day. Um, and so I got the Skulltula on top of the tree because now I have the long shot. So I can do that. Though it took me a while, I will say. Um, and I got the fire arrows, and so those are two things that I can get in this area. So now I need to figure out, I don't know, the rest, the rest of the things. So as you might note from the uh, stream title, and also from what I said on Wednesday, I am currently doing a little bit of the collectathon aspect of this. So I have definitely missed the Begoron sword. And I need to get that. So we're going to try doing a trading quest today. I hope that I can. I also have 67 Skulltulas. I think there are more that I can get right now. And I just haven't been being very thorough. So I'm going to have to do that. And I might try the the challenge at Lon Lon Ranch. Um, just to see how well I do. And if it's something that I think I can grind. We should meet up when it's cooler. September, you think, sometime? Sometime in that window? Yeet that forward a month? We could totally plan something like that, Kate. We will We will do a plan. We'll do a plan -y plan plan. It's, it's good. It's totally fine. Um, so I think I can get more Skulltulas than this, which means I do want to do that. And there's also the dumb Poe challenge. And so I do have to get all the dumb Poes. We might see how that works because the dumb pose are dumb and they make me angry. Um, so that might also be difficult. Yes, I will not. I know not to use warp songs during the trading quest sections. It will uh, move your timer down to having one second left on anything that's timed at minimum. Um, and so like you just get screwed over if you if you do the warp songs I, I will have a walkthrough open so that I have a little bit more preparation for where I'm supposed to go and what I'm supposed to do because as we know I get lost in this game very very lost constantly lost <coughs> and so I think I'm going to be like planning my steps um, I, I do have a walkthrough open it's walkthrough day we're doing we're doing walkthrough jazz but we're going to start probably by going to Lon Lon, Lon Ranch. Um, not because Lon Lon Ranch is, like, needed. The cow has nothing to do with the, um, like, 100% metric. But it is something you can get in this game. There's no way to, like, prove that you get it other than go. And I've never gotten it before. But I want to see how hard the challenge is like I want to see if I have to do two laps in 50 seconds which is what the internet tells me um I want to know if I can like already immediately start with doing two laps in like 60 and maybe I can work to cut that down but if it takes me like a minute 20 nah you know The trading quest isn't too bad. You can backwards walk and etc. That's fair. I just like being prepared because anything that's timed can be really anxiety inducing as I imagine people are very aware. Let's get a horse. I think the trading quest is supposed to be possible. Oh, were you right there? Did I just leave you there or did you did you appear? Hello? Thank you. Where are we going? 
We're going to the ranch in the middle of things. Just here. Oop. I don't think it's gonna jump this. Oh, cool. <clears throat> Is this even the correct side? Did I go the wrong way around? I think I went the wrong way around. You know what? This is fine. Aha! Okay. Either way around, apparently. Do do I? Oh, there's a Poe there. Oh, hold on. No, no, come back, you jerk. I was gonna try to destroy you. I guess. I guess not. Let's just ride our way into the farm. See how that goes. Nice! We can just ride onto the farm. Probably it has to be daytime to do this. Probably. Mr. Ingo, he must have been tempted by evil powers. He's not really a bad person at all. <clears throat> I mean, he's definitely a bad person. You sound like someone who's spent far too long under his terrible control, and I am sorry about that. Okay, that's all she says right now. Good to know. So let's make it daytime. This is going to spawn me towards the front of the ranch, I think. I wonder if my horse will still be in the middle of the... Oh, hey, look, it's Ingo. Yeah, jerk. Oh, wow. I, like, whooped him into shape, apparently. So my horse is over there. Hello, sweetie. Hi, darling. I didn't leave you on purpose. It's it's the way the load sequences work in this game. Let's let's go talk to uh let's go talk to your best friend, former best friend, before it became me. Thank you very much for the other day. I haven't even asked you your name yet. <gasps> Chat, she doesn't recognize us. Huh, really? Link, that's what I thought. You're the fairy boy from the forest. That was years ago. Do you remember me? You do? I was sure it was you because Epona remembered you. I'm literally riding that horse. Oh, I have to tell you about Mr. Ingo. He was afraid that the evil king might find out that Epona had been taken away. It really upset him. But one day, all of a sudden, he went back to being a normal, nice person. Now my dad is coming back. I can't believe it, but peace is returning to this ranch. I wonder what I did that made that happen. I thought that that was like automatic because I got the horse. It's all because of you. I owe you so much. Thanks. Okay, so... Epona is great and tame. How about trying with your your skill with Epona on an obstacle course? I'll time you for two laps. It's pretty challenging. If you miss jumping a fence in the proper order, you'll fail. How about it? Do you want to try it? Yes. But I want to try it with a suspend point here. Ooh. Oh no. My girl. She did not like my angle for this one. So that's unfortunate. Oh, hello? Girl! 
So if my angle on this fence had been better, that actually wasn't a bad first lap. But I need like at least a good run up. So I can do one lap in 50 seconds. <laughs> Things that we learn. This is the one that is at a difficult angle. There we go. Okay. Okay. Epona been such a diva. You are right, Rachel. That that was like, mm, sorry, this is not, this is not what I want. And I'm like, come on, queen, help me out here. Like, that wasn't a bad time given that I spent literally 30 seconds backing my horse up. So let's try it again. Let's see if we can actually uh, make our horse happy. Ooh, that's a noise. Rachel 7321 follow. is now following. Okay. So I do need my carrots back. Yeah. Okay, so I used too many carrots on that. Um, but I did one lap in 23 seconds, which means double that. That's 46. That will be under 50. So this might be possible. It feels within reach. So we're going to we're going to we're going to give it what I'm going to do is I'm going to try either until I'm frustrated enough to break my controller, which is a possibility, or I will try until I've gotten what I call a good run. Um and that will either mean making it or Ugh, that will, okay, so I think that's a speed thing, not an angle. So if I get one good run, I will either make it or it will not be makeable. So I'm gonna go until I'm satisfied with my performance is what I'm gonna suggest that I will do. Um, Cause it's, it's just kind of an art to using the carrots, it seems like to me. Because the little fences she can clear even if you haven't given her a carrot and even if you're doing a slightly awful angle. But these ones she needs to be carroted for and this one I think she needs to be very carroted for. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Mmm. That is not fast enough. And so that has to do with carrot management. I think I used fewer carrots and like took wider angles on some of this. Okay, got the jump. Okay. Or oh, throw the controller at the window. <laughs> So I live on the upper story of a very tall, like I'm close to the top of a 22 floor building. If I were to open my window and just throw the controller, <laughs> that would that would make a great like smash. Enjoy your breakfast, Kate. I think we all noticed you slipping away. So I don't know what bells you have on your ankles, but they gave you away. That was close, though. If I'd had better carrot management on the first lap, I think I would have made it. It would be so satisfying. Just destroying this beautiful original N64 controller. Nobody cares. Hup. Okay. I think some of it is, like, the angles on these curves. I need to have better path-following capabilities. 
I need to have better path following capabilities. I know I said I would do it until I was like satisfied with my performance once and then I got like a 51 and now I'm like annoyed. Woo. Okay, that was about the same timing. Excuse you, I pressed the carrot button and it like did not carrot. Dang it, I ran out of carrots there again. Cause she like slows down. <gasps> That's twice I've gotten the 51 for the same issue. You would think one second is possible to shave off. Like you would think that. If they gave me 55, this would be done for one she doesn't always respond to the angles that I take very well which is fair you know what we allow Epona to have um, opinions on her own navigation it's looking like another 51 second That's not a great angle. I did it in 50. Does 50 count? I don't think 50 counts. I have to do it in 49? Maybe I should have checked my house for a cow before like reloading this, but. Her start is very slow. I hit the fence. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, that's kind of what I was looking for with some indication that I'll have something in my house. Mm, not a great direction for that jump. <laughs> Let's actually read what she says this time. But I really think it's going for... Yeah, she doesn't... Ah! This is not an easy thing. Which I know is fair. It's not news to anybody. I think that there are improvements to be... <sighs> that was not the right timing to hit the carrot. Um, I think that there are improvements to be made to, like, my turning. And possibly also my carrot use, you know? Mm. Awful. Thank you. 
I think any time that I'm doing 26 on the first lap, it's not gonna be possible, you know? It's especially not gonna be possible for this one. We got a 49 second. We have a 49 second on the clock. Do we get a present? It's the new course record. Ha. No suggestions required. But thank you for the offer. I do think in general, um, my skill is very mid at <laughs> this game and so like tips and tricks super recommended yay um but in this case you know what that was pretty good the present is a little too heavy to give you here so i'll have it delivered to your house but you can't wait i really cannot i am going to save Yeah, exactly. I can I can spam carrots to reload. The difference was so the difference was actually my timing of when I spam, spammed carrots garlic grove, which was super interesting to me because I was running out of carrots earlier in the lap. And so there was a part where instead of hitting carrots, I waited for them to start counting up again and that happened like earlier than it usually does. And so by like clearing that last jump and waiting a split second till I got a third carrot, I had three to spam. And the two rounds where I got 50, I only had two to spam at the end. And so I think that that like precision of when I use carrots actually ended up kind of mattering. Because I had three left instead of two. And three was enough to get me 49 instead of 50. Good job, opponent. We never have to come back here again. Let's leave. Nope. We're leaving. Very nice. Let's not hit the chickens. How lovely. Okay. So I completed a thing that was definitively optional as far as I was concerned. Um... We know that there are the Poes here. I'm trying to decide what would be most efficient because I think I missed some Skulltulas as a kid. And so I'm trying to decide if it would make more sense to go back and do those ones now. <laughs> Pardon me. Because I have to plant a bunch of beans. I think it makes some sense to do that now because I have to plant the beans and beans matter for like a bunch of the adult Skulltulas. Flame Crystal, welcome in. Thank you for redeeming Got any grapes. Oh, there's a Poe. The answer is, of course I do. What kind of streamer would I be if I didn't have grapes? I mean, I'd be a very normal streamer. Let's just go here. I did win the race buttons. I will prove it the next time we go near my house. <laughs> but I was able to be successful. I hate these guys. Sorry, I know that's super rude because they are villagers. Like they're real human beings, kind of. Thank you. I am proud of myself. I thought the timing was gonna be off and I was gonna just completely run out of carrots like way early. But as it turns out, it was perfect that time. I'm doing very well, Crystal. How are you doing? Oh, they're here again. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order, in order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, under water, and even through time. Garlic Grove, thank you for redeeming Ask Me Anything. Do you think this store has any lemonade? 
If I check my freezer, I've got two cans. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. Cool. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach you this to you for when that time comes. The song to return you to the Temple of Time, the Prelude of Light. I can't believe I missed it. I will take this though. That would have saved me time, literally. Hmm. <laughs> of course I did. Sometimes when my accent's pretty good, uh, Flame Crystal, I like pitch it low to try to make it sound like she is very much putting on like, yes, I am definitely manly. I'm totally manly. I do things that 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 masculine folks do. <coughs> because I think it's funny. Cool, I learned another warp song. As long as you hold the ocarina of time and the master sword, you hold time itself in your hands, which is a super manly endeavor and definitely something that, that men do. And I would know. Link, we shall meet again. Go goodbye, bro. I thought it was I thought it was funny. <laughs> okay. Uh drop? No no. Sword? 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 How do I excuse me? Am I am I dumb? Am I dumb? Ah, there we go. I understand. It's the drop icon. Cool. We are a child. Good for us. And so now what I need is to go visit the bean guy and get a couple more beans because I think I didn't buy them all. Yeah, I only have five, but I have 500 rupees. And so I can get a few more. I, I believe I need 10 in total. Um, the difficulty is I kind of also want to double check <clears throat> any soft soil locations uh, that I um, any soft soil locations that I'm going to plant and I want to double check them with bugs first so I need to find some bugs buggy bug 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 bugs okay that is not the angle that I thought Link was supposed to run on but this is fine Oh man, so much better than the redeads. You know what I notice? The redeads are somewhat similarly placed to the people. There's like one there. There's like one over here. There's only one here though. I hope that doesn't mean they broke up. I mean, there aren't any over by the stall, so. Probably it's fine. <laughs> yeah, the Master Sword very much based on... Do I have a warp... I have a warp song to, like... Lake Hylia, but not to anywhere in the Zora Kingdom. Well, that's fine. We'll get a horse. I assume I have access to the horse as a child. I have assumed wrong. The horse has not grown up. We do not have access to the horse. This is why warp songs are important for the childs. Help 
I think it's interesting how many like hero tales and stuff like that are actually pretty universal. Let's look for someone who might know something about the other sages. I bet they do not, so we can, in fact, just go. Oh, we should probably go and teach the guy the Song of Storms, if we're gonna be a child. And in fact, we should probably go do that first, because then I can pick up bugs from that rock in Kakariko that always has bugs. Because I don't know where else to find bugs in theory. Most of like the holes in Hyrule Field, I think, have um, puddles with fish and rocks with bugs, possibly. Because um, they seem like good restock locations. But I also know there's one over here. There is an underwater path in Lake Hylia to Zora's domain. You are right. And so if I warp to Lake Hylia, I could swim to that. It just didn't seem faster to me. How do I get up there as a child? Things that I probably should have thought of before coming here. Because I can't use the hook shot or the long shot as a kid. We grab, we throw, we bug. Thank you. We have successfully located a bug and also some seeds. Um, I guess that one maybe? It's grayed out, and so I don't think I can use the long shot, which is confusing, because I don't know how else I'm going to get, like, is the door just open? Is the door just open? The door's just open. Okay, never mind. Where am I? Question mark. I'm about to ruin this guy's life. He was very agitated when he taught us this song. A down up. Oh no, I have ruined his windmill forever. He's never gonna forget this song ever again. I have made it rain. Sorry, why is the water draining? Oh shoot, is this how I access the bottom of the well? Yeah, it is going way too fast. <laughs> okay, we'll just do it the, the right way around, that's fine. Is that really how I was supposed to get to the bottom of the well? Because the bottom of the well... Dark, narrow, scary. Well of three features. <laughs> this is my favorite side in the game. Okay, well, then I might have to do that again because I wasn't planning on exploring this yet. Like that, the bottom of the well, my brain is telling me from my recollections of this game that I have to do the bottom of the well in order to, as an adult, do the shadow temple, which is in like the Kakariko graveyard approximately. And like, that's cool and all, but that's not what I'm doing right now. I can jump in. I can absolutely jump in and then I can like climb out. I just don't want to. It's like a little mini dungeon like the ice cavern, I think. 
And I want to find Skultulas. I want to talk to the magic bean guy. I'm going to come back, okay? Okay. Okay. That might mean that I have to go play the Song of Storms again. Here I thought I was being efficient. And I have learned. You played a game series when you were little where you could jump down wells. One went into an upside down world. The other just went into a passage with a scary rat at the bottom. So first of all, the scary rat one seems somewhat disappointing. <laughs> but like, what game series was that? Like, I don't know. I, I enjoy jumping down wells in games. Not in real life, but in games. Hilarious. It's called Dizzy. Secret butterflies. Okay. Hello, my dude. These are the super popular magic beans, in case you're wondering. I will buy one. I will buy, hopefully, the rest of his beans. I wish I could speed up this particular text box. But I cannot. Like how I can jump those ones. But no, no. Not this one. We have the legendary magic beans. I'll sell them only to you. Super price. 80 rupees. Sure. I think that means I have eight. Part of the reason that I'm doing this is there's like tons of treasure chests in the world that I'm just not getting right now. Like there's the ones in Goron City. Because like, I just have had a full wallet for several streams. This guy just eating magic beans by the handful. Look at money bags. Absolutely. Okay, that's nine, I believe. That is nine. So I need one more. Hello. Wow, he sounds like he's getting greedy. Okay. And so now, we're gonna do the time consuming thing where we run around and try to find every single one of these spaces. Excuse you, why did you run so far away? So I don't I don't think I'm gonna get any of them to burrow. They were too far. Try again. Does that mean I've done it already? If they don't burrow? Does anyone know the answer to that? Because I think I've done most of the soft soils. I'm just worried I haven't done all of them and I don't want to miss a Skultula. Flame Crystal, thank you for redeeming Hydrate for 69 channel points. Nice. I will do that. And thank you for redeeming Dehydrate. Um, thanks for popping in. It was really lovely to see you because I know it, it feels like it's been a while for me at least. I hope you enjoy the rest of your work day. Magic Beans, that's a puzzle too in the Dizzy game, the Upside Down Well. That sounds delightful. I don't, I've never heard of this game series, but I want to. Yeah, because I can't put bugs in there anymore. I hope that means if they turned it down that I've already done it. Because that would be annoying if it didn't mean that. The graveyard has one. Interesting. 
Is there a warp song for the graveyard? There is, but it's for the Shadow Temple, and that is not one that I have yet. Okay. Well, we're going back the way we've come. I like that the zombies are slow. They're very easy to just avoid. So I'm pretty sure I have also bugged the graveyard one because, like, you literally get bugs right next to it. There is no reason to believe that I failed to do that. But we will double check it. We will see if the bugs once again uh, completely ignore the delicious, delicious <clears throat> soft soil that is available to them when we are over here. So part of the reason that I'm doing this, there are heart pieces and skulltulas as an adult that you can only get with these plants that grow from the magic beans. Now, it may well be possible. It may well be possible that you can like glitch your way to some of those places or you can do like other alternate things. Ooh, he's digging in. And nothing came out. Okay, so they do dig in. Now I'm even more confused. That's fine. Let's plant a bean. Like, I put the bug in. There was no da 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 da. So it's fine. Okay, Kukiri, Kukiri Forest. Is it worth the warp song? Do I have a cow in my house in this timeline or only as an adult? These are the sorts of questions that I ask. Up, right, left, right. So this should warp me to the forest temple. <clears throat> and so I have to go across the sacred meadow and like back through the lost woods, I think. Ah, uh, yes. These, ow. These lovelies. <clears throat> Wonder if I can do this jump as a child. Yes, I can. Very nice. I'm hearing noises that sound like the start of the Skulltula sound, but they're actually just um, the Deku Scrubs jumping out. I'm pretty sure. And so, if I go the wrong way here... Uh, okay. If I go the wrong way here... It will send me back here, which is good. And so I believe there is a soft soil location... Here... Okay, so I saw one go into the middle. We did not get the little ding-ding, so that confirms that this is definitely one that I have... Um, that I have checked for spiders before. I just want to grow all of them. There are only ten locations, right? Cool. Alright. 
Lost Woods next. Me! Hello, boo! Watch out! Nice to see you. How are you doing today? I am doing great, and I'm doing a thing called streaming, which I, like, never do during the day anymore. I hope that you are having a wonderful work day, as best you can, boo. Hi, Skull Kid. I hope you're still enjoying the terrifying mask that I gave you. Please don't try to kill me in a future game, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, let's watch the bugs. There we go, one of them's digging. I do not hear the noise, which means I believe I have done this one. Valid. Okay. It's four. There's another one in the forest. My goodness. So many soft soil locations in the forest. I don't know how many of these are important to heart pieces and spultulas, but a, a non-zero amount of them are. Take a right. Then a left. Then another left. Nope. There we go. Better. Um, okay, right. Leave me alone. I just want this. I really do not remember if I have bugged this one or not. of because we watched the bug crawl in okay and so then there's the one to Dongo's cavern the temple of fire is like not a good place to warp to I think as a child um Oh, but there is the shortcut. Hold up. It's not here. It is... It is... Here. There we go. That'll speed things up a little bit. Settle down, Beavis. Welcome and lovely to see you. Hope you are doing well today. We are trying to find stairs that go up. Those are stairs that go down. That is not as helpful to me. Stairs that go up! Well, Kate, at least your performance check for the entrance was like... Was fancy. It's gonna take some bombs to do this, I believe. But it feels sort of worth it to go get the Oh, that's the useless one. I have I have done that incorrectly. It feels kind of worth it to do this and get what's in the chests now since I am here. 
I think. I don't know which of these to blow up. Let's do both. Okay, not that one. That one didn't help me. Woohoo! What's in this? 50 money! Yay. And what's in this? Is it another 50 money? Yay! 50 money! Cool. And just confirming that we got that skull to love. I actually have room for rupees. This was the point buttons. I was like, okay, you know what? I am just gonna buy all the magic beans because my wallet's been full for like two streams and I haven't found anything to buy yet. So I'm just gonna go buy some beans. I want 50 money, don't we all? Okay. Could try backflipping again, but I won't. I won't waste everybody's time. That's true. Now that I've spent them, I'll come across something that's like 300 rupees that I'll need to buy. I have been ignoring the fishing mini game, and I know that that costs money, and so that's going to be annoying, but. Nope. Not what I wanted to do. I am much less frightened of you than I used to be, but you are absolutely owning me. That's fine. Yeah. See? It's totally fine. We should probably do one of these, because it's been a while. You have a lamp! Dog, yay! I want one of those! Not like for real. I miss my dog! Okay. Watch closely. Those bugs were extremely unhelpful. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I usually am very thorough, and I'm pretty sure I had done bugs in every soft soil patch as a child when I found them. Um, but on the off chance that I didn't actually notice one, I want to make sure I'm putting bugs in all of them. Because once we've put bugs in all of the soil patches, I don't think we need bugs anymore, which means we have an open bottle to catch pose in. Oh. Apparently, this also makes it a lot easier. This particular plant, as an adult, makes the trading sequence for the Bigoron Sword easier. This is what I'm learning. Okay, so now we need to go to the place with all of the water. That's good. Um, I have a song for that. We can... We can... We can serenade the water. A down, right, right, left. Exactly. See, Garlic Grove, that's what I'm doing now. I'm basically like, listen, I'm going to watch a bug dig its way into that patch of soil, and if no Skulltula comes out, we plant. I did plant in that one, right? Someone was watching? Can confirm that I did a plant? Yeah. <laughs> Do not talk to the owl. Do not speak to the owl. Thank you, Buttons. I am glad. I thought I remembered planting. I just don't trust my memory. Hence the reason I'm putting bugs in all of these soft soil patches. So there should be one near the lab somewhere. There you are. Hello. Okay. Bugs. I believe one is digging, but I didn't see, there, there it goes, there it goes. 
Okay, so definitely we done did a dig. So we plant now. We have done did a plant. That should have been location seven, um, which is good because we have three bugs left for eight, nine, and 10. So now we need to go. Let's destroy these things because it's fun. And because, you know, we can actually collect money again. Amazing, right? Wow, that was an utterly useless spin attack. I'm so glad. It's definitely prioritizing giving me seeds over bombs, which is fine. Okay, good. Full bombs. Love it. So now we need to make our way to Gerudo Valley. I know, those the reproduction rate of those bugs when kept in a bottle is insane. Especially given that I'm pretty sure I only collect one at a time. So I'm not sure, uh, like I'm not sure how we get to two. Um, we don't have to think about that. Whoa. That was amazing. I did not realize that that would happen. They spawn on the ledge. The enemies are serious about ruining my day. Okay, so this should be Gerudo Valley, if I am not mistaken. I hear an evil helicopter noise. I'm just gonna keep running. Don't look around. If you don't look back, maybe it'll be okay. Actually, Plum! Plumberry raided my stream with 16 views. Plum, thank you for visiting. Hello, welcome in, Plumberry Muffin. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, all of Plum's viewers. Um, hi, everybody. Very nice to see you. Uh, hi, buttons. I I see I see you have multiple tabs open, <laughs> but welcome it all the same. Seven Lemons, the Brunch Fist Club. That sounds delicious. Who who did that? Okay, I think Twitch did that automatically. I'm gonna do my own shout out as well. And anyway, this is fine. Hello, Seven Lemons. Hi, Charlie. I didn't copy the raid message. Oh no. Hi, Kate. <laughs> I've never been here before in my life. I don't know what you're talking about. You did that? Okay, hi, Kate Menzel, because you are not in the chat. <laughs> I was I was terrified. I was like, why is there another shout out command happening right now? Anyway, we're fine. Everything's fine. Welcome in, everybody. Hi, Plum. How are you? How is your stream? Pikmin 4. It must have been amazing. You were playing Pikmin 4, you know? Like, great game. Lovely choice. Oh, very excited to see you this morning cuz uh my my morning my my morning cuz I'm actually streaming today which is great. Hi Kmenzel. Welcome into you too. I'm Lady QW. If you've never met me before, um I enjoy Nintendo so we play a lot of that and I'm playing Zelda this year. Currently I'm trying to 100% Ocarina of Time, which means today we're running around planting beans, possibly doing a quest. I uh, we're not we're not doing the story. We're ignoring the story for now. The world might be dying, but we're a kid. Who knows? Nothing's gone wrong yet. Everything's okay. So it's fine. But really lovely to meet you all and to see you all. If you somehow are in my stream and don't already know Plum, uh, please do check out his channel. Give him a follow because he does very fun, very chill, very cozy stuff. Very welcoming environment right there. And is delightful as a human being. So like, feel free to check them out if you haven't already. But thank you Plum again uh, for stopping in, for dropping off your lovelies. I'm sorry that you're still under the weather. I, how, how dare they, how dare they care? I know, I know. 
I'm sorry that you're still feeling under the weather. I hope you're able to get snug and rest up and just relax uh, for the rest of your day until you go to sleep. Caring people, the utter worst. Okay, Menzel, I see how it is. How dare we care? Right, Charlie? So awful. So awful. Caring human beings. How could you? I do love caring human beings. And so I welcome in more wonderful caring human beings. I don't know if I've killed the spiders here. I think there was one there. That seems pretty dead and gone. Uh, I do need this chicken. Hi. Because I believe the soft soil location, I'm not going to jump from here, but I believe it's where the cow is. Uh, we need to, we need to find the cow. Sad lady's mean and won't let us in. Tail end of a cold where you don't feel unwell, but you still feel unwell. Valid. You have energy, your body's like, nah, that's the feeling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you could do 69 squats, but it's not recommended. I do actually know that feeling. The feeling of like where you feel mentally more well than you physically are up for. And so it winds up being like super easy to push yourself and not realize it. And so I'm glad you have people who care who ask you not to push yourself them. Okay, let's check the walkthrough. Uh, piece of land next to the river. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this. This way then. Like I, it's not. It's not on that one, right? It's on the lower down one. I think it's on the lower down one. You know what? Before I jump, <laughs> just in case I do it wrong, just go already. As soon as the jigsaw's done, I'm ending, and chat was like, oh, well. There we go. There's the soft soil location that I want. We're fine. How does the bird not run out of feathers? They reproduce as quickly as the bugs in the bottle. That's that's what my suggestion is daisies. Plum, if I could, I absolutely would. You know what? I was rolling, but okay. And let me just make sure. Nope. That's not what I was pressing A for, game. Still, still not. Still no. Cool. Skulltula is, in fact, uh, dead and gone from there. So we will check this. I am, again, absolutely positive that I have already put a bug in here. Okay, we see a bug crawl in. We are watching another bug crawl in. We do not hear the success sound. Uh, that is because we have already found that Skulltula. So we shall now plant a bean. Love it. Death Mountain Crater. Oh dear, I can't wear the adult tunic. Hmm. I have checked behind the waterfall garlic grove. I believe I found a ladder there and uh, climbed it and found a piece of heart. Like you mean behind that waterfall, right? Because I have absolutely checked behind that waterfall. I thought that was how I got out. And then I learned, no, it was a piece of heart. I get out by swimming all the way down the river to the lake. And so I went that way first. Ladder to the heart. Okay, so I'm gonna need to warp in and plant and then warp out. And then apparently I can't plant the last bean yet, so we're still gonna need bugs. Ugh. Okay. Bolero of fire. 
is down a down a right down right down right I remember that tune So I can't wear the tunic uh, because it is adult size. Um, so this is going to give me a timer when I get here, which is going to be extremely stressful, but that's okay. Apparently, yep, apparently there is a soft soil location here. And so this is not one that I have checked yet because I can't get this far into the crater. I heard, I heard the success noise. I will collect this. I will plant a bean. I think this is to get the heart piece that's on top of the like crater as an adult. And now I'm gonna warp somewhere else. Literally anywhere else is fine. Um, I have not made it to the spirit temple, so I don't have the Requiem of Spirit. I can't play it to like warp there. And I, because I can't get into Gerudo Valley as a child, I just can't plant that bean yet. That's fine, I guess. Um, I will need to remember that, but that's okay because you have to go to that temple as both a child and an adult. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Pretty sure I'll be fine. And so then we are going back to, we, we do need one more Skulltula, absolutely, I agree. We almost have the correct number of Skulltulas. I'm going to warp back to the forest temple. And this is why. This is fine. I'm going to warp back to the forest temple because apparently um, there is a Skulltula inside the Deku tree that you can only get if you have the boomerang. And I don't recall going back for that. Rude. Rude. Thought having my shield out would do something. It did not, but that's okay. Sorry, what's in here? What it- Hello? Have we been here? Oh, hello! I don't know if we've been here or not, but it doesn't matter. I would like a one of you. I would like to leave the rest of you alone, but I would just, I would like, I would like one friend. I keep running at where there's one. And then it keeps not working. There we go. Okay. I have picked up one friend to heal me, and I have left the rest of them alone. So I still need to keep the bug, well, I need to get the bug again. I guess. Um, because it's going to be a while. I think I do the Shadow Temple next. And then the Spirit Temple. So I'll just get more bugs when it comes to that. I need a free bottle to collect Pose. That'll do. That'll do. Um, hello? Anytime you would like to start climbing that link. I know. I know that you, like, don't really enjoy working and stuff. And so it's, like, fine and all. But still, we'll be good. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the Deku tree. And we'll just double check to see if I've made it into every room and if I've actually, like, destroyed everything that I should have been able to destroy. It's very important to me that I destroy all of the spiders in this realm. I would like them all to be gone forever. Ooh. Ah, yes. The delightful loading speed that means it did not tell me about those until I was already upon them. It's fine. First basement northwest corner of the map is what my walkthrough says. First basement northwest corner of the map. So we have been there. Um, I 
Oh my gosh, Link. This is fine. Yeah, we've been there because I don't think it's here. Um, north. I think it's the other door that I need to exit. Three. Is it? How crazy am I? Lady Kiwi, where are the spiders? North, never eat shit. So northwest implies that I need to get into the room that's to the left of the room that I'm in now. Apparently there's a spider web and then a boulder and I do not I do not see that. But I thought I don't think this is the correct room regardless. And so, is it that one? Well, this is the other exit, so we're gonna see what happens when we go here. I remember this room was the room with all of the little mini gomas that were falling on my face. That's a Skulltula. Oh, yep, there are still mini gomas falling on my face. That's super weird. I like defeated this though. Like the boss is dead. Please just go away. Um Definitely does seem like I haven't blown up this wall. So let's do that. I see. That's why this isn't real according to the map. What is the point of giving me a map and a compass if the map and the compass don't show me every room in the dungeon? That's a rude trick. Very rude trick. Give me this. I didn't need to kill that spider. I just, you know, hate them. So, that's fine. So I'm pretty sure I got the one on Lon Lon Ranch all the ones at Lon Lon Ranch. Did I do that one? I know I did the one on the upper wall, but there was also one like on the back wall. I think you did need to kill the spider. Well, good. Then I, I have done... Ooh. I will take this, and then we will leave this room. We don't need to be here. We don't need to pay attention to anything going on behind us. Everything is okay. Faulty cartography. Yes. Deku Tree, you did a very good job. Uh, a, a very bad job, rather. You did a very bad job um, with charting your own existence. Let's go up. IRL spiders are friends, though. Uh, are they? Photography, yes. Hey. 
I do think it is both creative and very cool to recognize that you don't need the spiders. I don't even need the number of spiders that I have, technically. Like, you don't need 100% spiders in order to win the game. And so I think it's very interesting, this like, woo, hello, there were two there. This replayability aspect that says, yeah, you know what? We know that you don't have to spider, but if you want to spider, you have to do some backtracking when you get new items. And I'm okay with that. I think that's pretty cool. So let's make our way to Lon Lon Ranch. Just to double check, because there should have been two spiders that were out of reach. Um, and I remember getting the one on the house, but apparently there's also one um, on the southwest side of the map, high up on a wall. And if there is one in such a location then I might have killed it, but I wouldn't have been able to collect the token unless I went back there with the boomerang, and I don't know. The 100 spider reward is hilarious. Uh, getting to 50, absolutely worth it. 100%. Getting to 100, hilarious. Because there is one behind one of the... Like, I hope I'm remembering this correctly and I'm not just lying. But basically, they are hidden in very specific locations, like they're permanently placed. And I believe, if I recall correctly, there is a gold Skulltula in the area surrounding Ganon's castle that you can only access if you lift one of the, like, unliftable blocks that you need the upgraded gauntlets for. And you get the upgraded gauntlets in Ganon's castle. And so, like, if you're trying to 100% the game, you have to exit Ganon's castle partway through. I might be making that up. But that is what I remember. And if that is the case... Okay, it was nighttime. If that is the case, then... Like, what's the point in getting a permanent rupee-filling wallet? You know? Like, wallet-filling rupee. Sorry, I said that wrong. So, there had been one up there. I definitely got that. South. South. West, it said? Southwest. Here is a reward that lets you do anything in the game. Given to you and only possible to collect essentially after you've completed the entire game. Exactly. That is precisely my point. There are crows and they hate me. Da 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 da. I do not want to be involved with this. I'm gonna I'm gonna just go in here real quick. I do not hear any noise. I do not hear any skittering. Lon Lon Ranch at nighttime. Make your way to the far southwest side of the map. Higher up on the edge, you will find a skull to the. Ah! There he be. Alright, sir. Um, hello? I am busy throwing my boomerang at a spider. You will have to wait your turn. But, you know, we're equal opportunity here at, like, destroying our enemies, so... No skin off my nose to destroy that crow, too. Oh, wait. Does that mean... I hope I didn't miss it. 
Oh, I missed it. I collected two without checking in between. <laughs> Listen, we had 69 Sculptulas for a while. Okay, okay, okay. We can all agree that in order to have 70, you have to have 69, all right? <laughs> Ruh <-roh. laughs> It it is very like your search for the last Korok seed plum. It's like it's it's frustrating because if you haven't been using a walkthrough consistently because you want to experience the game with just like what do I notice? Trying to then find the one hundred percent of a searching mechanic is like basically an act of memory that goes, Hey, do I remember from reading the walkthrough? enough of the circumstances under which I found these Skulltulas, Korok seeds, etc. Do I remember that well enough to recognize when I have found one of these already or not? Um, and so I think what's interesting is I actually do seem to have a pretty good memory so far uh, in terms of what I can skip and what I need to actually look at because I didn't remember getting that Skulltula. Like, I remember getting the one in the building, and I remembered getting the one in the tree, and I remembered getting the one on the window, and I did not remember getting one high on the wall, especially not with that timing. And so, like, if that's something I can only get after I have the boomerang, I didn't come back to Lon Lon as a child after getting the boomerang. I didn't think I needed to. Hmm... Near the entrance of Gerudo Valley, you will find a circle of rocks. Gotcha. Sometimes you think you find one. You think you went to a place and then it turns out you didn't. Yeah, if it comes to that, that's kind of like my end of game run when I'm supposed to have a hundred. If I don't and I don't know what I've done wrong, I will absolutely go and revisit every single place, including inside dungeons where I am supposed to find one. I just really hope it doesn't come to that. I really, really hope I don't have to. But you never know, right? I might have to. I think I'm trying today to like speed up that process a little bit by getting all of the ones like if I get I'm gonna restart that sentence because that was not working for me um I have 70 skulltulas right now which means in theory according to this walkthrough I should have one to 70 because it, this walkthrough that I found is in order of a when the skulltula is accessible to you within the game and so if I don't then I'm like finding them. It's it's increasing the threshold. That's fine. But basically what I'm hoping is when I get in the list to the first Skulltula that I cannot get yet, that will be the Skulltula number that I'm looking for and working on. And then I'll be able to pin that and go, okay, great. I know I found the first 72. So I don't have to go back for any of those. But if that is not what happens, then we might have a problem. Okay near the entrance. Okay, I went in. I shouldn't have gone in. This is fine. We can leave. We're able to just exit. So there is supposed to be a circle of stones. I think it's up on the platform over there. It might be over here. Aha! Circle of stones. I see you. I see you. So this is one of those secrets always be suspicious of circles don't really need this okay so oh yes this one so that's a cow Oh, and there's a Skulltula there behind the cow. I see. There's also one of those guys. Oh well. Um, I can't use my bow. And I do not see a torch. 
I wonder what the range is on Din's fire. Like, if I stand midway between these two, do you think I'll hit them both? Nice! I did hit them both. Uh-oh. I accidentally blew this one up, though. It, it got angry? Oops. I should put it there. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. First... Want to kill a spider. Very nice. Okay, I don't want to upset this cow. Nice. But there is magic in the bottle. Very nice. I overheard this. They say that there is a switch that you can activate only by using the spin attack. Listen! I found that switch! That was in the water temple chat! They give you a hint! If you have been checking all the gossip stones and have also found the secret near Gerudo Valley. That's unfortunate that I did not. But that's not the fault of the game. I did wonder if there was a hint for that somewhere. Okay, so I believe that I destroyed the Skulltula on the waterfall in Gerudo Valley because I went there and it didn't... It wasn't crawling around there. Um, I believe I have gotten the one at... Like, on the... On the lab at Lake Hylia. At the... Yeah, okay. And so then Hyrule Field right near the entrance to Kakariko Village. Okay. I do not know if I have done that one. Is there is there a faster way out of this area? I don't... I don't think so. Okay. Do we think I can backflip over this fence? I do not think that I can, but I'm willing to try. Yeah. Nice. So, Kakariko Village is like that one, I believe. Approximately. Thank you, Cloudy. It did look really cool, I will say that. <laughs> I just didn't want to have to run all the way around the fence and back, you know? Oh my gosh, look at him go. Look at him go. Now that he's got the buddy. Just, oh, that was beautiful. Go away. I'm so glad that we saw the running man. I'm so glad for our timing. That was, that was pure serotonin as far as I'm concerned. He's zooming. Exactly. Ugh, and we not zooming. Okay, so. Just north of the small bridge, there's a tree. So apparently... I don't think it's that tree. I thought it was that tree. Oh, I guess that is north according to the map. That explains so much. So, I, I'm not a huge fan of this. Um, so we're just going to real quick get rid of them. So, near this tree, there's supposed to be a hole. That I can find using a bomb. Supposedly. Yep. Cool. Oh, it's another one of the terrifying... Oh, I see a shadow. Maybe, maybe we don't have to interact with the shadow. 
I'm too low that time, I think. Oops, that's too high. That was a very K Menzel esque yup. Well, that's nice. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that there's anything else in here. Why not? Bye! I do think I got the one in the graveyard, which is good. Uh, I think I remember going back to Dodongo's Cavern. I think I went as an adult because I went when I got the hookshot. I think I remember going back into Dodongo's Cavern and getting the one at the other end of the staircase that means that you have to go through things backwards. So I'm pretty sure I have that one already. Oh, we are now at the ones that I need to be an adult to collect. Uh, let's, let's real quick take a look. So we're at 72. So there's one on top of a house in Kakariko Village. Um, that I don't remember. And there's ones that you need magic beans. And so that's one magic bean. There's a sacred forest meadow one. So there's three that I don't think I've gotten. I think I did both of those. There's a lot in the fire temple that I'm not sure about. Okay, I definitely got the ones with the megaton, one of the ones with the megaton hammer. There's apparently a, oh yeah, no, I might have got that one. I vaguely remember that one. There's a magic bean one in Zora's river. There's one way high up at night in Zora's river. There's one in Zora's domain at night. That's interesting. So I think so far there's seven that I should have been able to get that I've missed. Okay. So I think that there's seven that I do not have as an adult. Uh, shoot. I have nothing to write anything down with. That's great. I will just use notepad on my computer. Why not? Notepad, please. So I think I'm short seven that I can get, but as an adult, and so I don't really want to do that right now. And then there's some more. Oh, now it's taking me into the bottom of the well, which I haven't been to yet. And so there's one more. Oh, 
there's one more Skulltula that I can get right now, and then there might be as many as seven that I've missed, but the one that I'm going to right now, according to this game, is 77. And so I haven't missed all seven of the ones that I don't remember. I've only missed four. And so those are probably the plant ones. Okay. Okay. So let's go and get the last, like, child one. Wait, I can do it this way. There we go. This is fine. We are fine. And hey, just for fun, because it's been a while, and Navi's yelling at me, and so I very much want to ignore her on purpose. Let's get some money, because we can. Because our wallet isn't full! Yay! Whew! So a thing that I need to do is be sneaky again. Because again, some of these really do require that you come back later. I believe that there are still guards and that they are still going to throw me out if I try to just run across the field. So... We're gonna go over here. Then we're gonna take a look. That's where our friends are. So we're gonna go up this hill. Go this way for a bit. And I see the rock wall. So we'll climb up this one. Very nice. So, the purpose for this chat... Have we spoken to this Gossip Stone? We probably haven't. I haven't talked to a lot of Gossip Stones, but boy do I find them amusing. Check! I'm convinced spiders are trying to kill me. The other day having a bath, one was like using its web to come down on top of me. Awful. Uh, there aren't any bugs on you, Plum, that I know of, and so that spider clearly didn't understand how to find food. The other day at the desk, another uses a web to come on top of me. Now, one sneaking behind my monitor, they're forming a gang. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. They say that contrary to her elegant image, Princess Zelda of Hyrule Castle is in fact a tomboy. Navi, unhelpful. I don't remember if I can just walk past behind them or if I have to do this, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go up this little corner. So I remembered there being a hole near this tree. What? A tomboy? Could that mean? Hilarious. Okay, cool. So I remembered there being a hole near this tree, and I swear that I've, like, bombed it and rolled into the tree and all sorts of things. Um, nope, you need to make it rain. Oh, boy. There are lots of spiders in this cavern and bombable walls. Love it. So there's going to be a golden skulltula behind one of these. But not all of them, probably. Oh, very nice. Since we're here... I have no patience for spiders. I love how they've been using, in a lot of these caverns, they've been using regular Skulltulas to kind of disguise the gold Skulltula noise. And that's really interesting. So you have to listen carefully, is what I have learned. 
Okay. Cool. So, we're going to warp to the Temple of Time and turn into an adult again. I think is my plan. Um, because I understand that as a child I need to do the bottom of the well sequence in order to get to the next temple as an adult. But I am not done my collect-a-thoning yet. I haven't even finished the Skulltulas, much less done the like trading sequence quest to get the Bagoron sword and all that stuff. So we're just gonna um, switch to being an adult, go back to some of these places that we've been before, hopefully get some more uh, da, 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 I think I hope this is the right one um, we're gonna go back to being an adult we're hopefully gonna be able to back up and find those skulltulas that we have missed Yes, please warp me to the Temple of Time. I appreciate that very much, very much. Good theory, but there's no way that's the case. Could not possibly be. Very funny. Okay. Although, adulting time. I do like that this is just undoable and redoable as we choose. It's funny that Navi is telling me, like, let's go find someone who knows something about the sages. And I'm like, listen, I was just talking to Sheik and the game did not give me any information about that. So I'm gonna have to assume that nobody anywhere knows anything about any further sages. You know? I'm gonna have to assume. They have different colored eyes. They must be different people. There is no possible way to ever change eye color for any reason. Okay. I think I need to go to Zora's River next, and so I might as well just do that. Huh. Interesting choice. I do like that it put the long shot automatically on my buttons. I think I'll put bombs. Their magic isn't powerful enough to change eye color. Couldn't possibly. Is there anyone who wears glasses? Interesting question buttons. I have not seen... Oh, no. Do not... I, I don't really want to argue with any of you. Please don't follow me. I have not seen any characters who wear glasses. I... Oh! That being said... There might be a character with a monocle. None of the zombies wear glasses, it's true. Oop, this is the way that I want to go. Okay. Thank you, a pony. Isn't it just a fashion statement, though? True! Maybe the people in Hyrule aren't, like, foolish. They're just blind. These are- these are the real questions, Plum. Cool, we got some bombs back. That's nice. Love that. Whoop! I, I feel like we are at an impasse, sir. There we go. Gotcha. <sighs> hmm. 
He hit his own rock. Interesting. So I'm just gonna hop on this magic bean because I don't know what it does, but it's here. Oh, okay, that's fascinating. It takes me the whole length, but there's a spot where I could stop and jump off onto here. I've been up here though. This isn't new, right? There are four people in Breath of the Wild who wear glasses. Fascinating. Focus! Hello! Nice to see you. Hmm. Okay, so these might be the ones that I've gotten before. Let's see. Wow. So on this large plateau, the southern wall, it says. Aha! I see it! Very nice. Okay, so we got that one. And then once you cross the small bridge heading towards Zora's domain, if you look high up at the wall at nighttime, okay. Oop. Let's go this way. I think the bridge they mean is this one. I can't think of an earlier bridge. Small bridge. And so then, oh, I can hear it. I think I can hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Hello. Please, please to give me token. Thank you. My lanta. That was stressful. Okay. So those are two that I had missed. And then there's one near the top of the frozen waterfall. Okay. So I actually have to go in. Whoops. Nope. I actually have to go into Zora's domain. I think that's possible. did not take my first input. We did just figure out the recipe for ancient Roman concrete. We still don't know how Egypt made vases out of granite. There are lasers in A Link to the Past. Where does that fit in the timeline? Listen, K. Menzel. Technology is confusing, okay? And so I think the thing for this is I've actually just never been in Zora's domain at night. Don't remind me of the lasers. Oh, frozen waterfall. Okay. I'm in the wrong place. So. Whoops. I fell. Yay. That's still closed. Should have brought them some blue fire. But I didn't. These games are brutal with time travel, okay? 
I literally am just throwing myself back and forth. This one's mean if you don't happen to come here at night. Actually, many of the ones that I'm finding via walkthrough are mean, hence the reason I missed them the first time, I think. Okay, and so then we're into the ice cavern. How many do we have? We have 76. Okay, we're into the ice cavern, and I think I did an okay job with the ice cavern ones. I don't remember how many Skulltulas I got in the Ice Cavern. There's two that I don't recall getting, but I'm gonna assume that I have got them for now. So I'm just gonna make a note in my notepad. Ice Cavern question mark? Three total, two I don't remember. And that way, if I keep going in this walkthrough, I know to come back. Um. So at Lake Hylia in the lab, there's one. And I have not been to the lab, so I am I am very aware. Oh, I missed. Mistimed. That's okay. Wait. I can't shortcut. Well, that's rude. I should have just played the serenade of water from the top then. A down, right, right, left. Okay, Menzel. Oh. Translation from a time travel capable society is very tense indeed that is a joke worthy of tom baker's doctor Can't say I'm not mad about it. Oh, right. There's that thing. Well, that's fine. We'll get back to it in a minute. Okay. So I feel like we're cheating everything about this because you know we have iron boots oh right I can't use my sword underwater that's fine I know what I can use underwater and it is my long shot I wonder if I'd talk to him first would he have like given me a prize for this Definitely thought there was a prize for making it to the bottom. But that's fine. Oh, I see. I have to dive it. I can't use iron boots. Nah. I'll just wait till I get the scales. It's fine. It's fine. I won't try to cheat anymore. There's a bunch of Skulltulas in the water temple. There is one on top of the tree. 
And then we get to the bottom of the well. So Golden Skulltula 79 is supposed to be in the bottom of the well. How many do I have? I have 77! Ugh! That probably does mean that I'm missing one of the ones in the ice cavern. That is unfortunate. Given that I don't think I can go this way... Yeah, that's frozen over. Unfortunate! Okay, so we are one Skulltula short then. Fine. Cool, thanks for the bombs. I, I really would like a heart, but that's, that's fine. I do note that none of those were hearts. Do you think maybe it's the tunic? Nah, I think it's the boots. I think I need to dive to touch the bottom. Yay, heart! Okay, we save. In tears, the hunting was far, far easier than breath. Still time consuming, but not nearly as frustrating. That's fair. Okay. So we are still missing one Skulltula according to the walkthrough that I'm on. Um, so that's awkward. We're missing one out of the first 79, out of the first 78. Um, okay. Awkward, awkward. But that's okay. Um, I'm not riding all the magic beams. So let's see, because I do in theory, this would be fun. Let's go see. Let's go see about my cow. I just want to prove that I have him. Or her. Definitely her, actually. Hi, horsey. Okay. My home is that one. This does not help me with this, like... Interesting. Nope. She did not like that. I know I can jump that fence. I just have to do it better. Uh, hello? Dang it. Found a Poe, and I missed it. Took me three tries to press the correct button to actually take my bow out, which is probably, you know, part of it, but that's okay. Let's take a look at my home. Oh, look at the little dinosaur on the wall. Look at that. 
That's so cute. What a cute, what a cute picture. I've got it. Look at me. Look at me doing my real attempt at 100%. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. Anyway, uh, now we need to get to Goron City. So what's the fire one? I do not remember. Like, I'm usually pretty good at remembering the songs you learn as a kid. I do not remember a lot of these. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. I believe that is correct. I do technically have enough money to buy the giant's knife. Oh, no, 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 come back, come back, come back. Get back here, Mr. Plant. I accidentally stepped off of you and I didn't mean to. I want, I would like to ride the plant. Please, please, Mr. Plant, come back. Do I have to reload the room or will the plant come back? That was utterly ridiculous. But I succeeded! Very nice. I jumped off it in the wrong direction twice. Which is extremely funny to me. Be. So that's Big Brother's room. Now I believe on the second floor. Might have been, nope, that stairs. That is not it. Is this the first floor or the second floor according to Lost Woods? This might be the first floor. They might be counting it according to like ground first, second. Always, always check the nationality of your walkthroughs chat to prevent um, misunderstandings, I suppose. Not that way. Interesting. Okay. Might have been this way. I will buy this. Thank you for the giant's knife. Cool, so giant's knife goes there. I thought that was where Begoron's sword went as well, but Begoron's sword might be one of these items. Either way, we're working on we're working on filling our screen as best we can. So that's the useless one. We are never going to use that sword. Oh, Kakariko. What's the quickest way back to Kakariko from here? Down the mountain. Down the mountain means up the stairs. Yay! Yay! You think I need to break it to start the better quest? But I want my item screen to be full. I don't want to buy it twice. Check. 
Hello? Very nice. Very nice indeed. Navi is insistent that she wants me to pay attention to the story as if it is in fact raining here so that's good I think it will rain until I do the bottom of the well Pocket Coco. They're very good at getting lazy late risers out of bed. However, my Coco's not entirely happy right now. You look like you're good at handling Coco's. <laughs> Here, take this egg. After it hatches, bring it back to me after a while and I'll check out its mood. What do you think? Will you try? I'm gonna say yes. So I'm pretty sure that that's the start of the quest. Which means apparently it is something that I can start even while I still have the giant's knife. Thank you, Buttons. I, I probably will play for another 10 minutes. Find Zelda. No, Navi. Side quests. Correct. Okay, so... Apparently what I need to do to hatch the egg... I'm just straight up walk throughing this. Apparently what I need to do to hatch the egg is have the sun rise. I wonder if I can do that like this. Look, a chicken hatched from the egg you were incubating. It's the miracle of life. And now instead of returning it to that woman. Something is on fire. Something is on fire? That entire house is on fire. What? <laughs> I have been co-opted by a different cutscene. Chat, I'm just trying to do side quests. Get back, Link. Explosion. Get cutscene, nerd. Ooh, that was something. Whoop. 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 This is fine. Hey, Google Boy. How you doing? We have released evil upon the world by accident. Oopsies. My bad. A little bit of a whoopsie daisy was that one. Yep, good job to us. I do want to get Begoron's sword. That's why I have a chicken. Looks like you're coming around. 
Link, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of Kakariko village, had sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the force of the evil spirit got so strong the seal of the whale broke and it escaped into the world. I think that was my fault because I accidentally played the Song of Storms as a child. Ooh, That's good to know, Garlic Grove, because I just spent a lot of money. I believe Impa has gone to the Shadow Temple to seal it again, but she'll be in danger without any help. Link, Impa's one of the six sages. Destroy the evil shadow spirits and save Impa. There's an entrance to the shadow temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead you to the shadow temple. This is the melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Listen to this, the nocturne of shadow. Interesting. I think I have to do the bottom of the well first or I can't beat the shadow temple. Is that not so? I probably should have just waited there as a child. At least I have another warp song now. It has a useful item. So I thought that the bottom of the well was where you got the, like, lens of truth. Okay. Cool. I don't remember if that's true. But I thought it was the lens of truth that I got in the bottom of the well. And then the floaty boots that I got from the Shadow Temple. I might be wrong. Let me take care of the village. I'm counting on you, Link. Okay. So the lens is in the well as a child. I'm pretty sure it will not be helpful to me as an adult to be aware of any of that. I can technically beat the Shadow Temple with the Lens of Truth, but it would be hard. Well, I don't intend to beat the Shadow Temple without the Lens of Truth. Um, I just kind of intended to get the sword. Enter the house right below the stairs. I think that means this one. I hear him. There he is. What entire nation? Can a person get a little shut eye around here? Did you save Malin? Thanks. I'm going back to the ranch then. Yeehaw. Cool. All of that just just to wake him up. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Okay. I don't want to do too much of this trading quest because I don't want to get into the time section. You can get the Begoron sword um Like, you can definitely get it pretty easily after getting the long shot. And so that's an interesting thought that you might be able to get it after getting the hook shot. I know that you need a Pona. Well, so what my walkthrough says is, right, that's it. Um, you need to have freed King Zora. That's the most important step. You cannot do the quest before you can speak to King Zora again. So basically it's an ice cavern thing. Hello, Ninja Senpai. Welcome in. It's best boy. It's true. Hi, I hatched a chicken for you. Oh, your cuckoo looks pretty happy. He must have awakened an extremely lazy guy. You're a good cuckoo keeper. I'll give you a rare, valuable cuckoo if you're interested. Its name is Kujiro, and it used to be my brother's cuckoo. Its blue body is quite charming. It's so cute. 
Since my brother has gone, it's strange, but Kojiro has stopped crowing. Do you want to keep Kojiro? Sure, I will find your brother. And I think that would be a good thing to do. You don't need Epona, but it helps for speed. That makes sense because the, the two things that it lists is Epona helps for speed and having planted the magic bean outside Dodongo's cavern helps for speed because of where it takes you. Um, and so that makes sense. But I know that you have to be able to talk to King Zora. And so that's the, the piece. It's not necessarily about the equipment that you have. It is about the fact that you need to have done the ice cavern and gotten blue fire. Let's go check out that well. Thanks, Navi. I will do that next time. So, I'm actually really glad I managed this extra stream today because I was thinking there was a lot of collecting that I hadn't done. And as it turns out, I am correct because I have just got caught up in Skulltulas. I've just started the Bogoran quest. I haven't even done the pose yet. So there's a lot of stuff that I just threw myself by and decided to have nothing to do with. Which is fine. Um, but it means basically we have the Bagoran sword trading sequence. We do have to get the final bottle. And we could do that ages ago. As soon as I got the bow and the horse, I could do that. And so that was super, super early. Opponent is beneficial specifically for the eye drops. Yeah, that's fair. So I think what we will do. Normally I stream Wednesday nights, 7 p.m. That is still going to be continuous. I will be here on Wednesday next week, 7 p.m. Not a problem. So I think what we're going to do on Wednesday is what I said this past Wednesday that we would do the Begoron Sword Quest. We will continue the Begorod sword quest. We just have some more Skulltula and we have, you know, access to magic beans that we didn't have before. Um, so we'll definitely finish the trading quest. And I think it will depend on my patience with the trading quest. I tend to be very impatient about the pose. The pose are stupid. I don't like them. Um, I might try catching at least some of them. But mostly I think on Wednesday I'm going to finish the sword trading quest. Just double check to make sure I'm not missing anything obvious that I could have gotten already. And then we might go back and do the bottom of the well. Um, which seems like it would be good. So that'll be the plan for Wednesday. I'm glad that I was able to do a sweet little surprise stream. Those are always super fun. Um... The special occasion for streaming on Friday? Koopa, great question. The special occasion is that my three-day weekend due to the statutory holiday on uh, Monday in Ontario was extended because of the sheer delightful kindness of the small business that I work for. And they felt that they were caught up enough that they could also give people a day off today. So I get a four-day weekend. Um, which is delightful. And I had a really productive start to my morning. And so I thought, you know what? I don't get to do this anymore, but I love streaming during the day. I love hanging out with people and I love uh, being able to check in with my normal daytime folks. And so I thought I'd just jump on and have a little surprise secret stream. So as it turns out, that was a really good thing because we had a lot more collecting than I thought we would. It was a nice surprise to be on Daisies, and I'm really glad that you could stop by. Delightful. You've played this game countless times. You don't think you've ever collected all those. Do you know what? So Ninja Senpai, this is the first Zelda game that I played myself. I did not beat it myself. I played it myself. I did the adventuring myself, um, but I had a friend who beat all of the temple bosses for me because I was garbage at the combat. I still, in fact, am pretty garbage at the combat, but I'm succeeding. Um, and so we ignore the fact that I'm garbage at the combat because mostly I'm surviving anyway. Uh, the one thing that I absolutely did was get all 100 of, this, of the gold skulltulas. That is the 
absolutely like I didn't do the shooting galleries. I didn't upgrade a whole bunch of stuff. I I absolutely got every single one of the spiders because I was like, wait, there's a hundred of them. Let me go get them all because I am at my heart a completionist gamer. Such be. That's so cute. We love a secret stream. Shh. So we're going to go on a little bit of a raid because <laughs> I'm done. It's my lunchtime. <laughs> I'm going to be done for today. I will be back Wednesday night. We will finish the Bagoran sword trading quest. Hopefully be able to do some bottom of the... Well, keep it secret. Keep it safe. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Hello? I, I have screwed up my copy paste. I think I've only ever collected enough to save the family a few times. That's valid. Um... Part of the reason that I push it is I really like heart pieces. And if I'm remembering correctly, heart piece is what you get for 50. Um, and then, but then you're already halfway there, you know? Like the big wallet, super nice to have. But you can get to the big wallet almost by accident. Like it does not require a lot of you to get the 30 or something. 30, I think it's 30 for the big wallet. 10 for the first wallet upgrade, 30 for the second wallet upgrade, 50 for the uh, heart piece, if I'm remembering correctly. Keep it secret, keep it cute. Oh my gosh, I'm getting distracted. I need to make lunch. <laughs> Chat, I'm leaving. I'm done, we're going. <laughs> okay, let me just figure out what we do in. Ah, that'll do. Why not? We have a couple of very fun people who are live right now, but I'm going to choose to raid Kate because I often can't do that um, while she's live. She's still on her starting soon screen, so feel free to take your own lunch break while you're waiting for her to start. But she was kind enough to stop by and be in chat today, so we'll jump on over. She is playing Digimon Cyber Sleuth, which is a hilarious game. Um, so that's where we're going to go. I find it hilarious anyway. You can ask her why if you don't know. So I'm I'm going to be done stream today. We're, I'm throwing you all over to Kate. Uh, so hopefully you have some fun watching her. Um, and I'm going to have lunch. Please eat too if it's your lunchtime and you need to look after yourselves. And I had a super fun time this morning with all y'all. At 50, you're halfway there. So Link is living on the first. <laughs> Daisies, thank you. Um, I, I too hope to occasionally have days off where I can just, you know, Pop in extra streams here and there. It's it's a fun time. It's a fun time. Thanks everyone for coming to hang out. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your fabulous Friday. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, especially if it's a long weekend for you because you're in Ontario. Um, and yeah, until I see you next, as always, keep it cute. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>